Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. Have you ever wondered, how can I be a problem solver and communicate my ideas? Today, we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver and communicate our ideas. Before we start problem solving, we're going to try a number sense routine called a splat. How many blue shapes do you see? Maybe you saw six over here, and then six right here at the bottom, and then plus two, plus two, plus three. Maybe you counted them by one. That's okay. There are 19 counters. Here comes the splat. How many shapes are under the splat? I think there's 10 under this black. How did you figure that out? I saw there was nine outside. So we could say 19 minus nine equals 10 under this black. How else could we figure this out? Maybe you thought about nine plus 10 equals 19. Let's look under this black to see how many were there. There's 10. One thing we can learn from this picture is that 19 is 9 and 10. How many blue shapes do you see? Maybe you counted by twos like this, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and then one more. That makes 13. Maybe you counted by one. There's 13 counters. Here comes the splat. How many shapes are under the splat? Did you continue your count on your fingers? I see there's five outside, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have eight fingers. Maybe you counted back from 13 on your fingers and you only counted back five, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. Maybe you solved it another way. Let's see how many are under the splat. We see that there's eight under the splat. What can we learn from this picture? We can learn that parts of numbers can go together. Eight plus five equals 13. 
take a moment to find a piece of paper and a pencil and then try to find something you can count maybe blocks or pennies anything you can find around your house i'll wait for you right here As you are working today, you will have an opportunity as a mathematician to practice your communication skills by sharing your ideas through writing and working to make connections with what you read and hear throughout the lesson. What do you notice? Stickers! I see star stickers and I see some heart stickers. I see some stickers are big and some stickers are small. Stickers are so much fun. Picture in your mind what is happening in the story while I read the story to you. Max has some stickers. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Max has some stickers, some stickers are heart stickers, and some stickers are star stickers. What new information did we find out? He has some heart stickers and some star stickers. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Max has some stickers, some stickers are heart stickers, and some stickers are star stickers. How many stickers does Max have? What new information did we find out? We have a question. We get to figure out how many stickers does Max have? Hmm, I think I need some more information to solve this story. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Max has some stickers. Five stickers are heart stickers and some stickers are star stickers. How many stickers does Max have now? What new information did we just find out? We know he has five heart stickers. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Max has some stickers. Five stickers are heart stickers and seven stickers are star stickers. How many stickers does Max have? What new information did we just find out? We now know that he has seven stickers and they have stars on them. We need to try to solve how many stickers Max has. Max has some stickers. Five stickers are heart stickers and seven stickers are star stickers. How many stickers does Max have? I'm going to invite you to work out this story. You may use paper and a writing utensil to draw your math pictures, your numbers or words. You can use your blocks and counters to show your thinking. Try it out.
Max has some stickers. Five stickers are heart stickers, and seven stickers are star stickers. How many stickers does Max have? I'm going to share some ways you might have solved it. Maybe you used your blocks and paper and pencil to model the heart and star stickers and you counted them. Did your strategy sound like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe you used your fingers. You said one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe you used your fingers a different way. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maybe you recognize that this could be solved using an addition number sentence. Five plus seven, and you thought about the combinations to 10 to make it easier. We know that seven is the same as two plus five. So our new number sentence could be five plus five plus two equals 12. So our answer is 12 total stickers. In today's lesson, we went over ways mathematicians communicate their ideas to problem solve. Use your thumb to reflect on where you are in your understanding. Give a thumbs up if you feel like you got it. A thumb in the middle if you are still practicing or a thumb down if you need help from a teacher or someone at home. Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and a communicator. Did you write to share your ideas? Did you listen and make connections to what you read or heard? Thank you first graders for joining me today in Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall and I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting.